Hello, this is Andrew from Impress Computers, and today we're going to be installing Viper onto a workstation machine. Um, the easiest way is you can go to our website, impresscomputers.com. Over here on the left hand side, there is a link that says software. If you click that, this is the software that we offer. Um, the second one over here is Viper, antivirus. Now the one that um, we're going to be installing today is a 10 user license, so I have to go over here where it says 10 user. Now right here it says click to download, so I click that and I will save it. Now, now that it's done downloading, I can just click on where it says run. And this is where you would enter in your key that you've purchased from us. Um, if you don't currently have a key, uh, you can still say agree and continue and you can call us to get a key and you can enter that in later. So, let me enter in our key. And I clicked on agree and continue. Now this computer already has an antivirus program, the Microsoft Security Essentials. Um, if it had something like SpyBot or Trend Micro, any of those, they would also show up in this list. And you can just click where it says Remove and Continue. Um, now in this case, it's telling us we have to restart the machine before we can continue with this. If it's Viper telling you to restart, then it's okay to go ahead and say Restart. If it's um, like Microsoft Security Essentials or SpyBot that popped up the message saying that it needed to restart, you would cancel that and continue on with the Viper install. Um, because this is the main program that you're installing, so you want to make sure that this is the one that you're following. Okay, we'll be back in a second as soon as we restart. Alright, so now the computer is restarted and Viper is installed and it's running the first scan on here and it's going to check for any other conflicting programs um, that may cause a problem. See, this one also has malware bytes, which is an anti-spyware program. So we're going to uninstall that one as well. Okay, so it's already taken. So now it's downloading the latest Viper, then it's going to finish installing, it's going to do the updates. Um, once it installs the Viper and it's still getting the updates, it's not uncommon for you to get a warning down here saying that your antivirus is out of date or that it's not running. Um, that's perfectly okay, you can just ignore that and let it, let, let it finish the complete install before you start thinking about you know, any messages you may be getting down there. That's pretty much all there is to it. Once this uh, finishes and it runs the first scan, uh, it will find and remove any malicious software that was found on there, and you're good to go. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Andrew.